let's just get down, let's just get the work done. I mean, the airbus has not yet stopped, but it's going to stop very soon. So let's just get down, let's just get the work done, let's just get the security check done, and then I'm going to see you at the boarding gate of the Bangalore Airport for the next onward flight to Trivandrum. Okay, so right now I'm sitting in front of boarding gate number four in Bangalore airport and it's 11.23 and uh, the flight is supposed to take off at 12.05. So, I mean, boarding will start. Yeah, probably, yeah, board, boarding has just started. So I'll just take two minutes and see this. So, yeah, so, I mean, uh, the most important thing that I had to do after reaching Bangalore airport was, and that's why, I mean, the flight uh, from Kolkata to Bangalore landed before time so that's why I got some extra time and that's why there, it was not very hectic so uh, my friend who was traveling who I mean who was traveling from uh, Bangalore to Trivandrum he's also he's a college friend he accidentally left his laptop and his this JBL headphone uh, at the security check so I mean I had to pick it up from the uh, lost and found desk and I thought that that would be a very tedious process but actually that was a very you know I mean it was relatively easy process the part that took time was a security check. I mean, that was really horrible. I mean, like the body scanning took like 10 to 15 seconds, maybe, or maybe a minute maximum. And then I had to wait for like 15 to 20 minutes for, to get my bags checked. And after that, they tell me, bring this thing out, bring that thing out. I understand it's, I mean, uh, necessary for the security, uh, but I had to bring out all the wires. I'm not complaining that uh, they should not do this but uh, i mean it was very stressful for me because i mean i had to reach this uh, i mean reach the boarding gate on time and i kind of just reached before the boarding started uh, yeah so i mean i had to pull pull out all the wires of the i mean the, the, the wires of the chargers of the mobile phone uh, the usb cables the aux cables the laptop chargers the, and as usual i had to take out all the laptops mobile phones wallet watches and everything so that was a really hectic process and then I had to stuff them all back and then I had to show them the bottle of sanitizers and blah 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 so that was a really tedious process and finally I mean that literally got me stressed out I, I was waiting for my stuff for like 15 to 20 minutes and finally yeah I mean now I guess it's time to go and board the flight because the bus that takes you from the boarding gate to the flight has arrived and yeah and the queue for boarding has already I mean, I mean the, the queue has lined up for boarding, so I guess I have to go. Okay, so maybe see you inside the flight or maybe directly in Trivandrum. Okay, so we are taking off from the Bangalore airport and it's almost the same thing. So, uh, I mean, the same, the same landscape you saw while take off, I mean, while landing and also, I mean, scanning the boarding pass and blah, blah, and getting up on the plane, it's all the same. So I didn't want to show you the same thing over and over again, so. Yeah, I'll see which one. At first I didn't think about it At first I thought whatever, yeah at first I thought I'd work around it I'd work around it But you turned out to be so different Yeah, you turned out to be nothing like them I changed my mind and got behind it I got behind it I'd let you take my breath away Pick me up like you're my aeroplane, aeroplane You and me, you know, will never fade Come on, baby, we got rules to break, rules to break
so I finally landed in Trivandrum and with my friend Ramakrishna, he's sitting back there. Yeah, yeah, he's sitting back there. And uh, we are in front of the domestic terminal and our cab is supposed to come. Another friend of mine, of ours, I mean, Teja Kumar, he's supposed to bring a cab uh, that's coming, or a car, that's a rental car that's coming from, you know, the railway station, that's Thampanur. And uh, yeah, he's gonna pick us up and then we're gonna go to college. So finally, I mean, after 15 long months, we are gonna go back to college, head back to college, then it's gonna be a week of quarantine, and then finally, and then we have offline exams after like 19 or 20 months. I mean, major offline pen and paper tests after 19 or 20 months. I mean, the years are starting to pain right now. I mean, the masks, they are, I mean, just pulling the years down, it feels. And it's pretty hot here, but I mean, it's pretty hot, but not very humid. I mean, you can feel the heat, but you're not, it's not very much sweaty. So it's kind of good and kind of bad. You have that burning kind of sensation, but not really, I mean, you don't sweat very much. So I don't know if that's an advantage or disadvantage. So right now we are waiting for Teja to bring the cab, I mean the car. Until then we have to wait. Domestic terminal, I mean, the domestic terminal of the airport is a pretty small one. Like, I mean, as I usually sh say that it's, it's it's very small, like some one, one storied supermarket. Yeah, it looks like some one story, one story supermarket. I mean, like, that's one entry. This is the second one and that's the third one and that's it so yeah let's just wait for the car so well on that day that was the last you know narrative vlogging clip i recorded at the trivandrum airport and after that i did not have the energy to record any more narrative vlogging clips so i just shot a few you know videos of the journey from the airport to the college and you'll see i mean our college is like two hours away from the airport and you'll see it's it's in a kind of a secluded place and you'll see how the cityscape you know transcends slowly and beautifully into the natural landscape uh, comprising of the hills of the jungle and it's really wonderful i love this journey going from the college to the airport or from the airport to the college and yeah back to the story what happened that day was actually our friend teja kumar he was supposed to come and pick us up from the airport he was coming by train and he was supposed to get the car the rental car and that was supposed to pick him up pick him up from the rail station and then it was supposed to pick us up from the airport and then it was supposed to go to college but instead teja had some work in the post office so he had to go to the post office so the car directly came to the airport and picked me and ramakrishna up and then we went to the post office picked up teja and then we came here to the college and yeah so that was basically it and after that we went into a seven days quarantine today is probably day six of my seven day quarantine and uh, yeah i'll just let you watch you know the video of the journey and uh, also I was lucky enough to spot a beautiful peacock on the fence, I mean just outside my quarantine hostel on the fence of the building. So I mean it was uh, really an incredible sight, I mean that's it's the first time I'm seeing a peacock with my own eyes. So yeah, it was really a wonderful experience for me and so I'll just let you enjoy, you know, the journey and I'll stop talking for now. Peace.
my friends These are the good 